Food insecurity is disruptions in food access and regular eating because of limited money or other resources. And food insecurity is really a state that people can transition in and out of over time. Food insecurity is unfortunately common. In a typical year in the United States, about one in 10 households experience food insecurity. So I'll dive straight into our key findings. Based on a USC survey uh, data of about 1,800 adult residents of LA County, we found that almost one in three households experienced food insecurity at some point between April and December 2020. That's about 1.2 million households in the county. And when we looked at low-income households specifically, 42% of these residents had experienced food insecurity. And this is much higher than historical rates in the county. In 2018, 27% of low-income households had experienced food insecurity at some point during that entire year. When we profiled the people who had experienced food insecurity, we found that the majority were female, 18 to 50 years old, and low income. The majority were also Latino and first or second generation immigrants. One in three were unemployed, and more than a third had children living in their household. The study participants reported getting many different types of food and financial assistance, and the most common ones are listed here. They include CalFresh, WIC, the new pandemic EBT program, economic stimulus funds, help from food banks and pantries, and help with food from their family and friends. Uh, we analyzed 19 waves of data that we'd collected over 2020 and found that two of these programs significantly reduced food insecurity. The first was CalFresh. Food insecure households who received CalFresh were about 20% more likely to transition to food security compared to households that hadn't received these benefits. And the second program was the pandemic EBT program. This gave families with children who are eligible for free or reduced price school meals additional money to spend on food. And households that got pandemic EBT were about 30% more likely to transition to food security. However, despite the successes of these programs, our data also suggests that they were not accessed by everybody who needs them. We found that only one in four residents who experienced food insecurity during the pandemic had received CalFresh or pandemic EBT benefits. And we also estimated from our data, including data on people's incomes, that somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of county residents were likely eligible for CalFresh during 2020, but not enrolled in the program.